This review is for Millie. Uh, this is on PC or Steam. This is a puzzle game. If you've ever played Snake back, I guess, in the 90s on your Nokia cell phone, uh, this is that game with a little bit more to it. Um, you start off, you pretty much, there's uh, different difficulties. There's easy and normal. There's a store which you use to purchase different items that you'll find later in the game, or if you need them to complete more levels. Go ahead and we'll start playing. There's three different levels, or um, I guess stages if you want to call it. You unlock them by completing levels and getting objectives in them. Within level one, there's shoosh, there's a lot of different levels here. In I should say stage one. It's kind of weird to say that. We'll start off at round two. Um, you're a millipede. There you are right in the middle. Your objective is to eat these yellow and white dots. Each time you eat a dot, you get longer. If you run into your body, you fail the board. Um, there's different things that you can use to rewind time. You can see in the top left there's that clock that will rewind time three seconds. Where you can use different things to, like there's scissors to cut your body down so in case you're too long. What you have to do is you have to eat as many dots as you can there's a certain amount you have to eat in order to complete the stage and then you can see to the left just the left of my body there's kind of a hole there it's like a, like a golf hole if you want to call it um, you have to do that you have to go into that to complete the round you kind of have to wrap your body around here in order to not crash into yourself um, the game it is difficult but it's not terribly difficult um, but my main problem with the game is that you have to plan out a lot of your moves. Um, if you don't, you're going to crash into your body. I wish that there were easier ways to complete some of the stages. Like you'll see here, I, I, I'm going to crash into my body. There's no way to do it. I'm not going to waste the clock to rewind it. So I'm just going to restart that level. I wish this game had more ways to complete the stages besides... I, I, I feel some of the stages, there's only one way to do it. Meaning, you have to go in a certain order of eating the dots, completing different ones, in order to complete the round. Whereas I feel, I, I've played I played Snake back in the 90s on my, uh, my 486 and on my my cell phone, um, so I, and I liked it. Um, so I guess maybe I'm kind of playing it back to that, whereas this is just kind of, I don't know, if I feel that I have to do it a certain way in order to win. I don't feel I should do that. I feel sometimes you should be able to complete multiple ways. Um, here, we'll skip, we'll skip ahead to the stage I'm talking about in particular. I, I haven't played the game a lot. I put maybe about 45 minutes into it playing around with different things and I had to reset my save because uh, it crashed on me once. Um, I watched a couple of videos online of other people playing. Uh, it does get a lot more difficult, whereas you know I failed on stage two, which is kind of interesting because it's not easy. You know, there is challenge to it. And there's, as you can see, I only got two stars on stage two. There's, there's better ways to do it. We'll go to this stage here. This is the one in particular I feel that you have to do it a certain way. You can see the top left has four dots in it, the bottom left has three, and then the top on the, on the right hand side has even more. So you can only complete those early on in the game. Um, if I wouldn't have done the bottom left first, if I do it later, my body's too long, I'm going to crash into myself. Like here I feel I'm going to crash into myself by eating up here. Um, or I won't. I have the scissors. The scissors are going to allow me to cut my body down so that I won't be so big. This is a certain way to do this. I have to use these, and I guess that's what I get into. I'm hoping to crash. I just wish it was more open ended. Um, like I said, I only played the game for about 45 minutes, and I didn't enjoy any of it. Um, I just played it because I wanted to get somewhat of a solid review on it, some, some game time in on it, to actually enjoy it. I, and I don't. Um, 
Uh, you know what, let me restart this stage. Uh, the music's kind of cute, it's like kitty, it's childish. Uh, in the beginning of some of the stages when there's new things to introduce to you, there's a cute little drawing to show it to you. Here it'll show you that there's a bridge, you can go over it, but still be underneath it so you won't crash into yourself. This shows you about the rewinding of the clock, that you can go backwards in time three seconds. It's pretty handy, but some of the some of the corners you run into three seconds just is not long enough. Those are the shoes, that's the currency which you're going to use to unlock more stages. Um, it's a challenging puzzle game. It's fun if you enjoy these kind of games. I don't. Um, I'm, I'm going to suggest passing on it if you ask me. I don't really like it. But if you do enjoy these kind of puzzle games, awesome, go for it. It's, um, it's pretty solid, there's a lot of stages to it. It's very pretty. Um, it looks like it's well done. There's, besides just being a millipede. Um, I use the Xbox controller. I find that's pretty good to use. Um, my only problem is if you pre I'll press left here and I'll keep going until I hit a wall. It's if I go down, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going down until I hit a wall. So you'll have to actually input the right button, the right stick there to go right. It is Pac-Man. It is just like Pac-Man the controls. Like I said, I would recommend skipping this game. I, mean, I don't enjoy it. I don't like it. And I don't think any of my friends would enjoy it. That's, we're not... Um, I love puzzle games. I really, really do enjoy puzzle games. Just not this one, or maybe not genres like this. Once again, I'd say skip it. Um, I picked it up in a bundle. It's worth it to check it out. It does have Steam cards, so you can make some uh, money back possibly on it. Uh, it's a pretty game, but just not one for myself.